I know some of you may not be too eager to vote. I do not blame you. If you have bought into the view that all politicians are the same and that your vote won't make any difference. But that is not so. I can tell you that your vote can make a big difference. I will tell you that I will tell you why we are all not the same and cannot be the same. I am not John Mahama. He is a former president and a former vice president and president. I am a vice president who has never been president before, who is asking you for the opportunity to lead and show what I can do if offered the opportunity this December. You can trust me to protect the public purse and use it selflessly to serve you. To the young voters of Ghana, I will say to you, do not switch off. I ask you to get involved. December is about you. December is about who can deliver for you, for your future, whom you trust, who has the integrity, the vision, the energy, the competence, the sense of where the world is today and your place in it, who has the humility to serve you and the decency not to insult you. I shall plead with you to make an informed choice. It is a choice between the one who had his chance and blew it and the other who is asking for a similar chance but to deliver with it, which is me. The decision is yours to make, not to bring back what, has, what was discarded in the past, but to vote for your future. If your priority is, as I suspect, about how to build strongly on the economic recovery that is before us, then I will plead with you to vote for me because of the vision and solutions that I have for you and the country and the leadership discipline and determination that I possess to see them through. My own core values, God-fearing, tolerance, tolerance, integrity, honesty, discipline, hard work, and inclusivity. My can-do attitude, my rejection of the tag of impossibility, my passion to unleash the creative energies of the youth, my compassion for the poor and vulnerable. All these align perfectly with the hopes and dreams of the young people of our country, rich or poor, north or south, educated or not, skilled or not, rural or urban. That is why I'm asking you to vote on December 7, 2024. Place your trust in me, and I shall not disappoint you. 